Hi everybody. What I'm going to do is a little demonstration so you get to see my hands today and not my beautiful mug. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I did on the drag cable. Now you know the drag cable is on the main gear and it's got one attachment point and then another attachment point and they're held in place by a thimble which is this thing here it's called a thimble and this is a sleeve now unfortunately I don't have any 1 16th inch thimbles so all I have is 1 8th and 1 8th this is 16th inch cable now this cable is going to be a little undersized for these, but I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes and just sacrifice these two guys, although I could use them probably down the road. And if you hear any jingling and jangling, it's my little dog. Go on, Bella. <laughs> okay. And occasionally you'll hear a little bit of a, some of that, because we got some guys going in and out of here. I think there's a... Uh, training session going on also so we have a, a school here in any case long story short let me do something I'll show you get a little bit of tape hold on let me get my jingle jangles out of the way so what I do because these ends tend to fray if you don't have a special cable cutter a cable cutter has a blade like this on one side and a blade on the other side and and what it does is it does one of these jobs so it cuts the cables clean well when you don't have one of those and you only have a, a straight cutter uh, an older aviation guy told me to take a little bit of tape and just surround the the place you're going to cut And it helps to keep the, the cut from fraying. Because the object is you don't want it to fray. So what I'm going to do is I have a cable cutter in here. The only reason I took this one out is to show you that there was a, a wire cutter in this stripper gauge as, uh, pliers as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to pinch it in between here. So that cut it pretty clean. And as you can see, I'll try to get it as close as I can, it did not fray. So technically, I think you can leave these on, even with the 1 16th inch, and just push it through. And then what you do is you get you put your cable on your attachment point. Let's say this is the attachment point on the main gear. So what I would do is I would put my thimble on. So that's the attachment point that's permanent. This, this part here, just pretend. This one's permanent and this is the attachment point. So what I would want to do is I would want to go around this thimble. Such. This way, as you can see, it's, it's got a good grip. And what you want it to do is you want it to hug this thimble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you, you just have to use your imagination at this point because I'm going to take this off. So just imagine we're on our attachment point. And what you need to do is you need to get the thimble as tight as you can. And it's difficult because this, like I say, is undersized. But then you would bring your, you already put your sleeve on, so the sleeve's already on the cable. So you would, what you would do is you would take the cable like so, and then lead it up into here, as close as you can to that thimble, making sure that this is pulled tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it tight as tight as I can by hand. Sometimes you need a third hand. So I'll just let you know that right now. Sometimes you will need a third hand to do this process because this ain't easy. <laughs> anyway, I'll use the biggest if it'll fit. 
it looks like it won't. It's, this one's supposed to do eighth inch, but it doesn't look like it's going to. But what, what I did with the other one and the sixteenth inch is I got it in between these two guys here. And, you, and the proper way to put the, the, the sleeve on and into the pliers is this way. Because what you want to do is you want to squeeze this way and pinch these cables together. So that way it will hold the cable in and that's pretty much it. So I guess I'm not going to sacrifice a thimble and a sleeve because I can't get my, my jaws around that unfortunately but if I could you would imagine a smaller thimble very much like this and you like I say you pull it up as close as you can to that thimble end and then where you would make your first pinch would be right up here closest to the thimble so that this way when you squeeze it'll pull this this cable in and then if you want you can get a second crimp on this back side. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you do it. That's what I did to my drag cable in the other video, the last video that I did, when I told you that I did the drag cable. So I just wanted you guys to know how that was done. So once again, this is the this is the thimble and the sleeve. Okay? And you see how clean that cut is? I'll put that against something that you can see it. Let's see. Put it against that. You can see how clean that cut is just from tape. So remember, a little piece of tape before you cut will help to stop the fraying of this um, cable. And you won't ask you you won't necessarily need a, a cable cutter which is one of those, uh, one, one is like a half round circle and the other one half round circle. And instead of being straight jaws like this, they're both half rounds and they, they'll cut it like that. So that's pretty much it. I hope that was informative and we'll talk to you in a little bit.